system blazing, curated playlists with minimal requests. It's got to be vinyl. I'll do it just like my granddad. Have the speakers outside, wires travelling through the yard, cause bun health and safety when rhythm I fear on every time. Laughter's competing, shirt sleeve roll up, because we're all cooking food. I have to have a big kitchen. Beer countertops and maybe an island so everybody can help cook. None of that lonesome labour. I want the main ingredient to be presents, being in each other's presence. Dash that in a couple cocktails and fling some rum in there. I know that happiness can make you use skills that you've learned in survival as tools to thrive. So I'm making cocktails because I like the way the ice feels being flung around. And my wrist welcomes the bugger movement now. It's not constant. 40 hours a week. There's pure gems pouring from pure conversations and meaningless cussing over dominoes. Baking in every sense of the word guaning and people sitting on the couch. People sitting on the stairs. People taking pictures tangible joy it all starts with love sitting in the outskirts of a family i can tell you the arguing jealousy lack of empathy feuds can melt away at a meal because between salivation for your next bite ears are intent on understanding and finding ways to support who doesn't want to be enveloped in love in the crevices of capitalism, there are cousins playing football, growing like siblings because of the family designated after school babysitters, parents working overtime to make sure grandbaby can visit mum and dad back home, and there are aunties and uncles using what's left after their expenses to cook some food and have people over because it's been a long time, reason over dominoes and pour rum into glasses and restore each other. Being a child of care has offered me a unique perspective on family and choosing to give love. Raised by Bev and Leon, of course, I now speak fluent sarcasm because they communicate with passive aggression. They put this 90s baby with these Jamaican parents, generation of the 40s, AKA the generation of consistency. Whether good or bad, Christmas was at our house and Boxing Day is at Auntie Madge's. Annual time for dead the beef, clarify past communication, reinstate boundaries, pay who you borrow from, and reminisce about the ones no longer here. I have learned and shared to those who want to know how to navigate your language because it's the fundamentals of this culture. Just like Shanghai Shek, raw love will contort to your beat. There'll be a rhythm and how you harmonize will be its legacy. And yes, sometimes the bass will be hard, but anytime the trumpet sounds, we're ready. 